prepared for the year 2024. Jesus, we profess our faith in you. You are the light of the world. And in you there is no darkness. For you are our lamp, O Lord, and our God who lights our darkness. Forgive us for fearing and focusing on the darkness around us and say be filled with faith and shining like the city on a hill you have called us to be. Forgive us for the times when we have been the absence of light, allowing darkness to dwell in America. Lead us forward to spell the darkness and bring light throughout the church, family, education, business, military, government, and arts, entertainment, and media. We are saved by grace through faith, released from the darkness that once held us captive and now free to walk in the newness of life in you. Light dispels darkness and exposes what is hidden and wicked. So we commit to rise and shine for by you, Lord, we can take courage to run against the enemy. And by our God, we can fight the good fight and keep the faith as living lampstands in our communities and country. We fear no evil, for you are with us. Lord, your way is perfect. You lead us on paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Your word is truth, instructing and inspiring us to live in the abundant life. You gave when you saved us from the death and destruction of the enemy. Fill us with truth as we read, study, and live your word. God, you are a shield for all those who take refuge in you as we abide in you, and your word abides in us. We take up our shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and run boldly into the darkness to lift up the word and light up the world. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. On earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. In this time of need, God always hears the prayers of those who cry out in humility. As wars rage around this planet, we place our trust in God, the source of peace and justice. That the church will never shrink from its obligation to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those who lead nations will find peaceful solutions to solve disagreements over borders, religious preference, or ethnic diversity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will face the challenge of the gospel, to love our enemies and do good to those who persecute us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. presence of God the Creator give you strength. May the presence of God the Redeemer give you peace. And may the presence of God the Sustainer give you comfort. May the presence of God the Sanctifier give you love. Amen. Good bless America.
the prairies to the oceans white with foam.